for this ministry. For, and this, and the, if the word comes for this ministry, it means it is for us. Amen? Yeah? And it says that we should pursue, overtake, and recover all. It's for this year, not for next year. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, uh, and, and I was just, uh, the other day, uh, I was hearing uh, what Pastor was saying and uh, I got challenged. Amen? Because uh, he kept reminding us, it is the, it's your word. Have you done anything? And I was asking God, I, have I been caught slacking? Have I decided to just use the word, that word to, to be one of my uh, decorations in, the, in, the, in the, my notebook? Yeah, a powerful word. Yeah, but what am I doing about that word? What is it that I am doing? Yeah, and the Lord was challenging me and telling me, Have you recovered all? Have you covered ground? There is still much more for you to cover. Praise the Lord. The other day, we went, uh, we were invited by with my, with my family to a, a church that I used to serve in some time back. And um, when we were there, something hit me hard. Praise the Lord. You see, at first, whatever you could see was more of artificiality and, um, how can I put it, wealth, opulence, yeah, yeah, cosmetic, yes, aesthetics. You could see a lot of aesthetics, eh? a lot of things, and you say, wow, wow, wow. But you're saying, is there God really? Let me tell you something. The preacher came, he was a guest preacher, and he preached a word. At the end of it, authentic anointing. Tangible anointing fell. Praise the Lord. And let me tell you, when I'm thinking about cosmetic and everything, there were who and who, who were in our, in our midst. Yeah? Reverend Teresia Urim was there. And uh, Pastor Dick Peter Dera. I mean, they were there. <laughs> okay? So I'm not talking about just a simple occasion. Hallelujah. Authentic, tangible anointing fell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And, and I just felt, I just told my wife, I feel this man of God, I need what is in him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And the Lord was just telling me, there is much more ground to cover. Hallelujah. There is much more, brethren. Look at uh, Joshua chapter 13. 13 verse 1. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. The Bible says this. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto him. Remember, already it, is, it says, uh, it already tells you he, the way he was. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. Already in our, pitch, in our mind, we are seeing a weak person. We think somebody who has to be helped. You think somebody who is helpless. Okay? Now Joshua was old and and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, and God told, he said the same thing, thou art old and stricken in years. So when the Lord says it, it's not a, it's not a lie, it's the truth. Eh? And there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. Hallelujah. You see, the Lord, despite the Lord knowing that Joshua is, is, is old and stricken in years. Despite the Lord knowing that you are weak financially and you are, you are in debt and you are, you are, even your, your own house is about to be locked because of no rent. Despite of the circumstances that are surrounding you, that maybe you are sickly, maybe the doctor has given you a bad report concerning your sickness. Yeah? All these things which are around you, despite that, the Lord is still telling him, there is still much more land to be possessed. There is more ground. Please give me the amplified version, please. There is much more ground. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's what I was saying, what Pastor was, was just sharing here. The much more life. The Lord is asking us and telling us, there is still much more. Praise the Lord. You see, even as some of us have taken the word for this year, and we are pursuing yeah, we are pursuing. Others are waiting for Firimbi. They are waiting to hear. To Tuanze. Munangoja, Munamak time. When people have already taken off and they are running, others are still waiting for the, for the, for the gun to be shot. They are waiting. Yeah? To me answer. To me answer. November. To me answer. This is November. 
Tumeanza. Hallelujah. It's about time, brethren. This call you are receiving now is the gunshot. Hallelujah. This call, this thing you are hearing that God is saying, uh, 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 how long will you slacken? How long will you take time even to, 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 to pursue, even to overtake Jehovah God? Hallelujah. Even to recover all. You see, there is a much to recover. Praise the Lord. There are some things you lost that you don't even know. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is much to recover, brethren. Hallelujah. Don't think there is just what you are seeing. There is much more than what you are seeing. There is much more, brethren. Don't be cheated. Hallelujah. The, the enemy will want you to, to settle early. Go the halfway and that's enough. There's somebody in the word of God who was told uh, to, to strike the ground because the Lord has given him the, 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 the war. He, he, the Lord has enabled him to, 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 to fight the war and win. And he was told to strike the ground. Guess what? The guy decided to strike the ground three times. The prophet told him, because you strike the three times, you're going to win three times. But thereafter, you lose. Hallelujah. Why can't you decide just to go out for God? Praise the Lord. Why can't you just embrace this daring faith and say, God, you're with me? There's a reason why God told Joshua those words. Let me, uh, let's look at the uh, Amphib version. Now, Joshua was old and gone far in years. The Bible records over 100 years. And they all said to him, you have grown old and are gone far in years. Eh? So the Lord knows the situation. The Lord understands what you are going through. The Lord knows your fears. The Lord knows your disappointment with the aspirations that you had and uh, now you are feeling disappointed. The Lord knows. But in spite of what the Lord knows, hallelujah, he knows much more. <laughs> and he says, and very much of the land still remains to be possessed. Hallelujah. That despite of your weaknesses, despite of your shortcomings, there's still much more. Amen. You see, when David uh, was told those words of uh, uh, pursue, overtake, and cover all, David that time, he was weak. Remember that, that scripture? He was weak. He had just come uh, to, to a home and he found everything plundered. His, 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 his family and even the family of, the, of, the, of, of his men taken. The, the, the men wanted to kill him. <laughs> they wanted to stone him. Can you imagine? But what did he do? He turned. Ha! Hallelujah. The Lord is telling you, turn. Praise the Lord. And encourage yourself. Don't wait for Pastor Tony. Don't call Pastor Tony and start uh, 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 calling him at night. Hey, Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray for me. On any kujia. No, 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 no. It's for you to turn. Praise the Lord. Turn. Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor, I had a similar experience. Uh, Sifa was coughing. Coughed a lot. At that time, we didn't have any drugs. The drugs, they came each. Hallelujah. <laughs> Same similar situation. And they told me, why can't you pray? Same thing. Because I was wondering, hey, where do I go? Yeah, that came is open. Hey, which one? Because <laughs> at least I, mean, I knew which drug to buy. But still, it was not there. <laughs> it wasn't there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and they told me, why can't you believe me for her healing? And I, lay hands, I laid hands on her. She was coughing badly. In fact, uh, thank God my wife was asleep. Because if she saw it, I guess I'm hey, who you to, to play like a study? <laughs> I prayed for her. Guess what? Uh, in the next uh, like five minutes, because the maid was just wondering, hey, what's going to happen? Next five minutes, she slept. And I went to sleep. Though you know, you're part of the daddies, eh? daddies had to still waiting to hear come at a cough. She slept. <laughs> so Pascal in the morning was reminding uh, Sifa, you see, your dad prayed for you and you, you slept. It was an acknowledgement of what God can do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, there is much more that we can, we can recover. We can cover and recover. Praise the Lord. The Lord only wants your willingness. It's your willingness. Because him doing this, the Lord knew he cannot do it by himself. It is, him, it is God doing it for him. In him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at David. Was in that position he was in, he was, there was no way he could pursue and recover. There was no way by himself. He had to rely on God. And that's why he asked God, should I? Hey, 
God wants you to come to a position of asking, should I? Praise the Lord. Can you dare God? The thing that you, have, you want so much in your heart, that thing you are saying, if only I could have this, why can't you believe God? It might look odd, it might look crazy, it might look ridiculous, it might look out of your reach. Why can't you believe God for that? Praise the Lord. The reason why you have that desire to have it is because <laughs> it is part of your destiny, brethren. It's part of your destiny. If you are with God, <laughs> God will put in you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. And he will still tell you, I can fulfill them if you believe me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And this evening, there's a call to us. How long will you wait? How long? The Lord is willing. The Lord is ready. But he wants a willing partner. One will say, I'm going with you, Jehovah. I am going with you. I am recovering all. I am covering the ground. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is much more to be covered, brethren. It may look like it's the close of the year. Eh? What already started in Mona Christmas. Already, Kunata on Wanaza ku decorate Christmas. I've seen uh, your songs of Christmas. Unaskiata uh, ringtone may change to Christmas songs. So already there's an indicator the year is over. Brethren. Uh uh. Ata kama tomorrow is, is December 31st. <laughs> Still believe God. Hallelujah. For this word to be made manifest in your life. Hallelujah. He is more than able to do it. He only wants a willing heart. A willing heart. Somebody will say, I am going. I am here. I am here. Let me be counted with those that are with you, Jehovah. That I shall pursue. I shall uh, overtake and recover all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's look even in... Uh, in, 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 in uh, you see, if you look at uh, the, the first chapter of Joshua... There are several commands that he gives Joshua. Okay? And if you look at that, uh, you will, uh, um, you will you want, you'll wonder, why are all these commands being given to Joshua? Did we see these commands being given to Moses? So there's a reason. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You see, when you're undergoing the process of God, he knows you. He knows you better than you know yourself. Hallelujah. Don't compare yourself with somebody else. He knows you. Don't look at maybe another man of God who did something and failed and you say, hey, maybe paint and failed. No, 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 no. He knows you. And there is processing. He's not the same as processing the other person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How can you? You need to have a, a, a personal relationship with him, a personal encounter, a personal experience with, with God. Praise the Lord. That's the only way. There's no way you can live a life of godliness or a li this life of faith without revelation. God has to reveal himself for who he is in your life. Personally. Praise the Lord. Personally. Now look at Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. And this is something which you've, you've kept on uh, 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 reading and preaching about it and talking about it. Uh, but I want to just to look at it. This, uh, this, uh, some time back, we, uh, we, I, I, I had this opportunity to share in the morning devotion, and I broke this down, uh, uh, and what the Lord was uh, missing to me. And this is what the Bible says. Uh, can you give me an amplifier? Ah, thank you. Uh, this is what the Bible says. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth. Already that statement, that phrase, already, it, it, it uh, causes some um, disconnection. I don't know if they understand this. Because the Bible says this, this book of the law, this book, okay, let me make it practical so you can understand. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. Does that not make sense? Does that make sense? I mean, logically, does, does that make sense? How will you react? Is this guy normal? I don't really understand what I'm trying to say. There's something that God was trying to tell Joshua. You see, for it not to depart from your mouth, it, you have to know it. It has to be in you. How can it depart out of your mouth? God did not mean that you unachukua the book of the law and said reciting it. I said reciting it. No, 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 no. Because if that is the case, then when, what about when he's sleeping? What about when he's eating? What about, see, that book will be disappearing from his mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you getting? I'm just doing practical understanding of faith here. Amen. And he says, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. So it is upon us for this book of the law for us to know it. Praise the Lord. 
There is no shortcut. There is, there is no way you can say you're a believer, yet you don't know the Bible. I remember some time back we were watching um, one of these um, programs in, uh, in, in the Christian uh, media. And uh, a pastor was being uh, uh, asked some questions from the Bible. Okay? It was these are just questions which are asked Sunday school, Sunday school, uh, children's church. So it was more of a trivia kind of, um, like the way we had trivia here. And uh, he was asked these questions. And we were all shocked. Because this man of God, a pastor and a musician, could not answer. Simple questions. Simple questions. And I was shocked. If he's a man of God who preaches to a congregation and he has songs and doesn't know the word, how dangerous can that be? Brethren, it's upon us to do our part. And our part is what? Study this word. Hallelujah. I don't need much. You see, sometimes you may be, okay, for me, I love, I love uh, the resources that we, I have and, and I keep on getting more resources. Yeah, because for me, I will talk like Pastor Tony will talk about hermeneutics, exegesis, apologetics, yeah? Baba, church history. Yeah, no, 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 no. You don't need all that. Praise the Lord. All you need is a Bible. And guess what? If you can have a concordance, fine. If you can't have a concordance, can I shock you? Google. Mr. Ngugi can still use, be used as a concordance. Several times I've been looking for a scripture and I, and I search in Google and I get it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, everything is, a, is at our disposal. It's for us to use them. Hallelujah. So, make it your, your, your clarion call to get deeper in the word. Yeah? There are those deeper meaning you need to study, you need to read, read the Bible. You don't even know what the Bible says. Yeah? You're just getting from what preachers are saying. Read it for yourself. Praise the Lord. Okay? And there are those who have gone through the Bible, yes, but they won't go deeper. Amen. Get to understand a scripture, like now this scripture in Joshua, in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. What does it say? Go to the commentaries. Go to the, uh, the, the cross references. Go to, get to understand what are these. Go to the word studies. Praise the Lord. Study even the characters in the Bible. Hallelujah. 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 The other day, pastor was, was told, told us something which I, eh, I didn't know that. And I said, let me go study it even more. About Mary. Yeah? Remember, there was Mary Magdalene. Then there was Mary, the one who uh, poured uh, this perfume on him. Do you know those are two, two occasions? Not the same? Did you know that? There's Mary of Bethany. There's Mary of, of Magdalene. I don't know whether you knew that. It's in the Bible. Hallelujah. So as you continue studying the word, you discover more. And let me tell you one thing. Don't just read the Bible as though it's a mechanical novel. Ask him to help you. He is there to help you. You know, the funny thing is this. The greatest king in all of this, uh, of, 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 in the Bible, is King David. And it is said of him, and he always inquired of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He was not infallible. He was not infallible. He, 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 he did sin. He did, he did cause murder. Okay? He did sleep with somebody's wife. Okay? He was not infallible. But what is said about him, his heart was after him because he always inquired of the Lord. Why can't you inquire? If this Bible seems to be so big and uh, heavy on you, that when you open the word and you feel like you want to sleep, yeah, why can't you help ask him for his help? Praise the Lord. Why can't you tell him, what do I, do I read? Do I just read from Genesis to Revelation? Evil up? No. The Lord will help you, will guide you. Praise the Lord. Did you know that Job is, is older than, than, than Moses? Did you know that? You see? <laughs> if you look at the chronological uh, Bible, Job is first. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you need to know this by studying the word. Amen. Okay. The, so this so it says, the book of the Lord, so in our case, it is a Bible, the word of God. Shall not depart out of your mouth. It will be always in your mouth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, but you shall meditate on it day and night. Hallelujah. How many have seen uh, Ngombe? I'm a, I'm a booze. Most of the time it's Ngombe because Ngombe can see clearly. Ngombe akikula, akikula nyasi, atakiti pahali. He go and sit, he should go and sit somewhere and start doing this. Have you seen that? What is it? What, what are they doing? Yeah? 
chewing card. What is card? Card is that same grass they ate. Then they brought it again. Now they're chewing it slowly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you receive the word, you also chew the card. Praise the Lord. You meditate. You meditate on it. You meditate on it. Praise the Lord. You let it go through your mind. Go through your mind. Go through your mind. Pastor was saying much more life. What is this much more life? Much more life. Much more life. Much more life. You go to the word and read about much more life. What is much more life? Much more life. You you let it in Akusumbua Akili. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As you are doing it, it personifies you. You become a personification of that word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, it continues to say that you may observe and do according to all that is written in it. There is this um, uh, religious um, attitude or posture that religion wants us to have, whereby we, we, we take uh, the things of God as of, uh, they're not fruitful. They are just for the sake of, it's like ritualism. It's like you are doing a ritual of coming to, uh, on, on Sunday for church, and even evening services, you're wondering, ah, should I really go for them? Yeah, but you, on Sunday, you are there with Sunday best, uh, with your family, and you're there uh, performing a ritual. So that on Monday, if you're asked a question, you're not able to answer <laughs> because you are doing a ritual. Hallelujah. And it is a, a, a kind of life that denies the power that is in the word. Praise the Lord. And therefore, when it comes to the issue of observing and doing, you are saying, I see near my pastors. He near my pastors. He personally can do, not me. Not me. Me, I work. I, I go to work. I, 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 do, I do other things. The Lord is blessed with other things. No, it's upon you, brethren. Hallelujah. It is us. It's talking about you to, to observe and to do. Yeah? You are hearing the word with the intent to do. You are studying the word with the intent to do, to apply in your own life, brethren. That application needs to be there in our life. That willingness to say, God, I am going with you all the way. What you tell me in the word, show me. Let me do it. Let me walk by what you are showing me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what the pastor was saying about daring faith, about radical faith. Yeah, The faith that says, ah, I choose to believe you with my own life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They continue saying this. For then, you see, English, for then means whatever was behind, <laughs> it is a reason for this. Praise the Lord. You see, for then, it means whatever, the, 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 the then is caused by the, the whatever is behind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Does that make sense? For then, you shall make your way prosperous. You see, the issue is we not we come to a point of not trusting God enough or trusting uh, uh, you, you, you are like, you, you are a bit um, cautious with God uh, because of what to other people. Uh, uh, you have somebody who, who brought uh, the whole, his whole wallet uh, and, and gave us an offering, but then he had to walk home uh, and say, hey, muka seme ni toi kila kitu, ata ITM card, then ni fungue nyumba. You see, because of what you saw somebody else Hallelujah. Yeah, but you see, it is a, your own process. It is a personal processing. Praise the Lord. It's a personal. Don't look at what's happening on the other side. It's your personal process. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is what the, the, the word says. For then you shall make your way prosperous. If you do what you, you have just read. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then you shall deal wisely. Deal wisely. Brethren, there are so many... <laughs> There's so many people who want to con and to get uh, 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 things for free, and they're looking at you as a, as a bait, and they want to shortchange you. Yeah, deal wisely. The Lord will give you that wisdom to be able to deal with situations. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And have good success. Success that shall not that shall not harm you. Success that shall not destroy your family. Success that shall not destroy your, your commitment to the word of God. Success that shall not remove you from church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How many times have you heard of brethren who have been prayed for to get jobs and when they get a job, they disappear from church? Mm -hmm. You say, I'm busy now. I'm busy. I'm, I'm driving my 
my BMW and uh, I don't think I'll be able to come for this evening service. I need to go for a meeting. Uh-huh, you are busy now. But before you got it, you were crying to God the whole night. Boom, go with idea. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants you to be so mature that whatever he gives you is not enough. Hallelujah. Is that enough to distract you from the life you're supposed to live? Praise the Lord. Eh? Instead of things having you, eh? you reach out to get God himself. Reach out to get God himself. Have God. Don't let, allow things to, to have you. Praise the Lord. Don't allow things to, to cause you to go the halfway. Amen. If God has given you riches now, there is much more ground for you to cover. Hallelujah. Yeah? You could be the property owner. Yeah? Of, uh, in fact, an owner of many properties. And, and believers can come and just have, have a good time in one of your properties. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In, 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 in America, there is this um, big, uh, there's this huge uh, theater called the Opray. 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 It's in Nebraska. Yeah? And uh, when you read about Opray, it has hosted many of the gospel awards, gospel functions. These uh, this are music awards of the gospel music. They have done it there. Now imagine if that man did not decide to, to build that thing or did not decide to buy that thing. Hallelujah. Do you know how many, how many places uh, uh, will want believers to, to do their thing? No, they don't want. Even if you offer them how much money, they don't want. Because of what they are, they are serving. They are serving other gods which are contrary to your God. Hallelujah. But how much more if Maggie was owning several theaters? Hallelujah. If Maggie was the owner of Kenya Cinema and uh, Nairobi Cinema. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are, you see, the Bible says eh, uh, when Jesus comes, will he find faith? Yeah? Are you occupying till he comes? You need to occupy. It's not a matter of just uh, being an employee. Being, no, no, no. You're supposed to be a property owner. How do you occupy if you're an employee? Praise the Lord. How do people feel you are present if you're an employee? Hallelujah. If you start preaching in... Where, where, <laughs> if you want to know you are, your boundaries, Jaribu skumoja wamuke usema nataka kuombea kila mtu hapa. One the kind of resistance will come up because you're an employee. But if you're the owner... Ha! People come to you and say, "Hey, before we have the board meeting, I want us to pray." Everybody bow down their heads. Omba, chairman, Omba. Hallelujah! Because you're the chairman, you're the owner. Praise the Lord! You have the authority. Praise the Lord! How much more, brethren? We can become the property owners. Don't settle for less. Hallelujah! Don't settle for less. There is much more. Praise the Lord. There is much more life, much more wealth, much more favor, much more wisdom that God wants to bestow upon you. If only you're willing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hey, I didn't even check the time. My goodness. Hallelujah. Is it over? <laughs> I didn't even check. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, I, uh, so it, this is my, uh, my, my, my uh, expression to you from, the, from what I've been uh, receiving from the Holy Ghost concerning um, uh, covering more ground, covering more ground. And that's what the Lord is, is telling us yeah? in, in, in Joshua chapter 18. For how long will you wait? Yeah? For how long will you wait? For how long will you wait? Huh? Uh, hallelujah. Just turn to your neighbor and just ask that neighbor, how long will you wait? Yeah? The, Bible, the, uh, the Bible is saying, how long uh, are you slack or are you uh, waiting to go to possess the land? Can you give me in... Um, in, uh, in Amplified, uh, Joshua 1, uh, 18, 18, verse 3. So to understand this scripture, yeah, as I close, praise the Lord. Today, tonight was a worship night. Uh, so, uh, uh, but I believe this is a word that will, will, will jumpstart you, uh, for you to, uh, to have an understanding of where we are going uh, and be able to pursue uh, and, uh, and, over, and overtake and recover all. Yeah, the, this is what the Bible says. We should ask the Israelites, how long will you be slack to go in and possess the land. Is there another version that doesn't have slack? Because I want us to break down the slack. Is there a message Bible? Maybe message? Aha, uh -huh, good. Thank you for this one. This is the good news. Eh? Good news version. It says this. So you just say to the people of Israel, how long are you going to wait? <laughs> Hallelujah. Waiting for Firimbi. 
waiting to be told sasa waiting to see a manifestation somewhere hallelujah how long are you going to wait before you go in and take the land that the lord the god of your ancestors has given you you see it has, he has already given you he is not giving you he has already given you he is not like uh, fighting with you for you to to get the land no he has already given you praise the lord all you have to do is what go in take the land praise the lord hallelujah you remember the story of Joshua and Caleb uh, when they when they, they were sent the spies who were sent uh, 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 and two came with a different report from the others hallelujah praise the lord you should be like Joshua and Caleb who say we we are more than able to take up this mountain <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord yeah why because it's not you alone you have divine backup amen you have divine backup brethren the angels who are at your disposal i remember we uh, i was teaching you about um, uh, angels being ministering spirits they are ministering spirits not two but four hallelujah that two and four you need to understand the meaning Two meaning it is you they are ministering to. But four means they are ministering for you. They are your employees. <laughs> the angels are your employees, brethren. Hallelujah. I mean, they are doing it for you. Hallelujah. You wake up in the morning, you come that's why we you, you, you have to have this um uh this lifestyle like Jesus of waking up early in the morning eh? and just bombarding the spiritual uh, world. Hallelujah. Yeah, when you just wake up, there, I walk in abundance of wealth. Already, the angels are here. Eh? He's walking in abundance of wealth. They are going, looking. Where can he get wealth? They're going for you, where, where, looking. Boardroom meetings, they're influencing. Eh? Uh, where, you, you know, Fluky? Fluky, yes, Fluky. You're influencing Fluky. So, the, 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 as, as I continue my day, I'm receiving a phone call. Uh, excuse me, uh, Fluky, do you, uh, are you the one who can be able to do this? this, this? Yes, yes. I come, I sign a contract, hallelujah, worth millions, praise the Lord, and I'm supplying. Amen. What was happening in the morning? I was commanding my day. Rapo Soto, I walk in abundance of health. Repekete. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brethren, nobody can come and do it for you. It's for you to do it to yourself. And it's, if, if, even as it looks like it's about to close, November, December, there's still time with God. Let us dare him. Praise the Lord. Let us do what he is telling us to do. There's not much. It's not you. He doesn't want, he doesn't want your life. <laughs> he doesn't want your leg. He doesn't want your, your family. He doesn't want your, 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 your marriage. He doesn't want your, 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 your whatever you have, your possession, your house or your chamber. No, no, no. All he wants is a willing heart. Are you, are you willing to trust him, to obey him, to say, God, I choose to believe in this and you go with him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed to hear this word? Hallelujah. You can stand up on our feet. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us just believe God together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Even as your word has gone forth, King of glory, it may have gone forth with shortcomings and with, the, uh, with, 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 with things that have not been able to, to, to reach to where you want it to reach, Jehovah God. I pray, Jehovah God, that this word shall be germinated in our lives, King of glory, to bring forth fruit in the name of Jesus. For us to get the revelation of what you want us to do at this time. This Rema word, Lord, I pray, it shall, it, shall, it shall be so loud in our system, in our being. Even for those who are here, you are hearing from, from virtually, even in Facebook, Facebook and in YouTube, Jehovah God, whatever they are doing now, King of God, let this be a clarion call to them to wake up and to go deeper with you, to wake up and to choose to, 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 to trust you with their, with their lives, Almighty God, and to go all the way, Jehovah God, not stopping halfway, but going all the way, King of Glory, dismantling mediocrity and embracing excellence in our lives, Almighty God. Have your way, Jehovah God. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Have your way in our lives, King of Glory. We worship you and you magnify holy name. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen. Welcome, Pastor. Hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. There is more land to conquer. Not to conquer, but to take. Uh, conquering in the Father of Christ. And that's why we are called the more than conquerors. You know, they are conquerors and they are, they are, they are, they are, they are saying that is, that is uh, uh, so and so the great who has conquered. 
When the Bible says we are more than conquerors, it means that we are the ones who are cashing in the victories. You know, banners for sana. And we thank God for that powerful word. The question here is, for how long? And this is a question that I even speak to you directly. As a minister of the gospel, you know when you say minister of the gospel, you'll say, ah, oh, he's talking to pastors. No. All of us, as we read some time back in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, from verse 18, uh, from verse 17, if anybody be in Christ, is a new creature. Old things have passed away and everything about you is new. Then verse 18 says, and all these new things are of God. Who has done what? Who has reconciled us unto himself? Say, I'm reconciled to God. For what purpose? He says, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. So he has reconciled us unto himself by Christ. And he handed over a mandate, a responsibility as a minister of reconciliation. If somebody serves as the head of the ministry of agriculture, what is his name? He's a minister. In which ministry? In the ministry of agriculture. Now, when we came to the nation called Zion, where you are a registered citizen, you are given a responsibility. A responsibility in the ministry. The amazing thing is that it's one ministry. All of us are being called to. So all of us are ministers in that ministry. It is called the ministry of reconciliation. And the Bible says, to wit, the following verse, verse 19, verse 19, the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Do you know what? What I'm saying is this. God wants to express his love to the world by you. Through you. Through, I mean, through as a vessel and everything that he has put in your hands. Our focus in our new year is on growth. You know, when I say growth, of course there's what we call qualitative growth and there's quantitative growth. Bonus for sana. Qualitative, I mean, I mean, I mean, I thank God that when Pastor Fluki had this ministration, he said this to himself, and that is the altar call he answered to. I need this kind of anointing to work through me. You know what? That's an altar call you are, you are answering to. And I want to promise you, brethren, and tell you this, and we'll take it to the bank. I told you something about the, the, the 12 months. I told you about Nebuchadnezzar. He was given 12 months to amend. The parable of the victory that the master came year after year, not getting anything out of it. The, 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 the one who was a caretaker, he pleaded with the master, don't cut it down now. Give me at least a year that I work on it. Do you know how much the Spirit of God has been working on you? Because there's only one goal and one thing that the master wants from you. Productivity. That any time he comes, he gets what we call fruits of righteousness. Bringing many to salvation, to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, is bearing the fruit of righteousness. Extending and, you know, the reach of this righteousness to the lips and bounds of life, to cities and villages and nations and just letting it grow. That is really producing trees, uh, the fruits of righteousness. Letting people experience the love of God because there are so many people who feel forsaken by life. That is what producing the fruits of righteousness for us for son. Imagine God wants it to you know, to express the fruitfulness through you. One thing that I'm assured and I'm now settled in my heart 
that these hands are full of healing. And that's something which now it's no longer uh, now saying, now we need Benin to come to Kenya. No. Are we together? Because of knowledge. We've been so much uh, infused with knowledge that now we know who we are. Now that you know who you are, why are you still waiting? How long are you going to wait? Yet there is more land to conquer. Of course, we break the demon Yam Kenya, a last minute rush. Where now when you see Haya, the other brethren coming to church, joining us, and they are taking up, oh, why are you taking my position? No, 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 no. <laughs> I am the one who holds the microphone. I'm the one who does this. Oh, 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 I'm the one who hates this. One year. One year. One year. Elijah said, I'm the only prophet remaining. Even the spirit of the last born is removed from your life in Jesus' name. When another one is born, hey, oh, why are you taking my position? One as first son. I break that influence of darkness in Jesus' name. And I released a harvest. Because my prayer is to pray to the God of the harvest. To thrust laborers into his harvest. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. That we are growing radically in the name of Jesus Christ. Quality wise, people yielded to be used of God in Jesus' name. People yielded to, to be ministers of reconciliation in Jesus' name. Reconciling people's health to the finished work of Jesus Christ. Reconciling people's finances to the finished work of Jesus Christ. Plugging men unto righteousness in Jesus' name. Reconciling families in Jesus' name. Not talking about how family, a certain family, they're, they're, they're almost at the verge of breaking up. Take out, having nothing of to talk about the bad things that happen to, to, to the lives of people in Jesus name but always celebrating the works and the finished work of Jesus Christ when manifested in the lives of God's people Father I thank you and I bless your name in Jesus name we pray Amen, Amen, Amen Buenas Fesana and I like us to honor the Lord with our, of course we are building up and I know that we are going to turn Buenas Fesana last, last Friday is not like today today I don't talk when they you must build your, your, your queue. But, but let me tell you, he in Shanga 10. And because we are building the momentum, we'll wind up at 8, at 9, sorry. And one of the things I'll promise you, brethren, is that the Bible says, open your mouth and I will feel. Jeremiah took us, uh, was told, eat that scroll. And it was sweet to the mouth. And when we went to go to the belly, it was so bitter. And that is what I'm releasing in your life. A fire that cannot be quenched. A zeal that consumes you. Are we together? It counts a fire from within. A force that cannot be stopped you will start praying the right prayers. Father, send to me the right people to lead to Christ in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Father, send my way those that I need this healing in Jesus' name. The Bible says that as you go, preach saying, the kingdom of God is at hand. It is about going, not waiting. Then it says, heal the sick. Because that thing that heals the sick is in you. Raise the dead. For that which it takes to raise the dead, it is in you. He says, cast out devils. Cleanse the lepers. Cast out devils. Because freely you have received. You are a bearer of the God life. You are the bearer of deity. You know, everywhere you go, it's the ark of covenant being taken. And it's a better experience at the time of the Old Testament. Panas Vesana. How I pray in Jesus' name that the eyes of your understanding may be flooded with light of God's word that you may be able to comprehend with all the saints. That includes the knowledge that Peter had, the knowledge that, 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 that Paul had, 
that we get to a place of acknowledging as what Peter, uh, acknowledging was, as what Paul acknowledged and what Peter acknowledged, that we may get to a place of acknowledging what is the breadth, what is the depth, what is the, the width of this love of Christ. That you know that you are not who you are by yourself, but you are who you are by what Christ made you to be. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, you learn that you are who you are because of the grace of God, which was bestowed upon you. And you are able to do much more than what the apostles did, those who came before us, yet not by your strength, but by the grace in the name of Jesus I connect you to your purpose in Jesus' name. I declare that the word will be shared like what was shared about Daniel. That after God rejected Saul, because at some point, after grace, uh, you know, you know, people say that, that, that do not frustrate their grace. After men have frustrated grace, God is never limited with men. When Elijah was saying, I'm the only one, God said, I have my own up set aside that I've not bowed their knees to burn. When, when, when Saul thought that he is, a, he is, he is God's sweetheart and he could, did not obey and do everything that God wanted, the Bible says, God raised for himself David, a man after his own heart. There are men that God is raising after his own heart. May you be found as one of them in Jesus' name. May you be found as not the one whom God is rejecting, but the one whom God is embracing in Jesus' name. Oh yes, because the grace that you abuse, you give an account for it in Jesus' name. Because each man should give what he has desired to give, not reluctantly or a compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Now I'm talking about giving, it's not just in finances, but also in releasing the things that God has freely given to you. Because it is a grace. Financial establishment is a grace. The Bible says we know this grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that Christ who was rich, yet for your sakes was made poor, that through his poverty you might be rich. The grace to, uh, you know, you know, to um, the empowerment by the Spirit of God, to cause you to be an empowerment to others, that grace is upon your life in Jesus' name. That you need to ask God, God show me the one to bless. Show me the one to dispose these resources. Show me the ministers to bless her. Show me the ministries to bless her. Show me the place to participate in the ministry. That is how to increase in grace. Grace is not showing people how many cars and how No. What has it done for you? A rich man is not just richer because of the money he has in his account, but how much has that wealth affected his dependents and the people around his life in Jesus' name? Father, we bless your name because we are impactful. We are impactful. This grace that we, we do have uh, is causing us to do more than what the apostles did. Uh, they blaze trails, uh, but we are blazing new trails in Christ in Jesus' name. We are shining for them, Master. We are turning our world upside down. Uh, we are doing more than what our own uh, human ability can be able to produce uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless your name. Father, we honor you. Thank you for the grace to gather together and to commune your word and commune with you in fellowship. Thank you, Father, for this grace. We take advantage of it and we keep in fellowship with it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. No more waiting, brothers and sisters. No more waiting. No more waiting. The easiest thing to minister is what you already have. No man gives or does not have. As you go, preach saying, the kingdom of God is at hand. Give us that scripture and we make it a memory verse. Matthew chapter 10. And make that as a memory verse as you go home. Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10 is a very powerful verse. Listen to this. Probably, if you go read the entire book of Matthew chapter 10, you will understand how much the Holy Spirit desires to express himself through you. I think at some point, I pray that the Holy Spirit will break what we call elementality, a department, I'm of this department, and will give us a new, a new burden as a minister of reconciliation. Are we together? There are things we do that you wonder, is, okay, 
okay, sawa, but is, is this what you are called to do? I am an usher. But you see, when you do the work of an usher as a minister of reconciliation, woo, more powerful. So, let, look at this. Go and do the book of Matthew chapter 10. Yet. You will see how, how the Spirit of God worked in the lives of the apostles. And these men were not born again. Are we together? They were not born again. It was just by extension. Jesus, go and do this. And they want to succeed. And when he had called unto, uh, and when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power. Do you remember? Jesus saying the same statement in Matthew chapter 28 now. This is now before his, his death. Now, in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 and 19, I'm going to resurrect. And I say, I give, all power and authority has been given to me. Now I'm entrusting it to you. Go. So in this case, they are not even born again. That shows you that the power is constant. It does not change. God can make a donkey speak. And the donkey, after I took some Bible, you are more than you are more than that. Imagine it's at your disposal. And I'm sharing you this because we have been building up that you must be daring with our faith. And I said that people that did great things in the world, in the, in the, in the b- 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 uh, church history, whether in, in, in the time of Martin Luther and before the people that have come with the Lord recently, now maybe I'm end up to be with the Lord, Akina Kenneth Hagin. And let's go all the way now to time Akina Paul and the rest. Let me tell you, these people, they were, in fact, if you listen to stories of like Kenya, Kenneth Hagin, you realize they were, they were everyday brethren. If you listen even to Kenneth Hagin, how he started the ministry, how he saw challenging in, health, in his health, and how he had experiences that to him at that time, those were childhood experiences, or they were experiences in ministry, and akwambia how he suffered financially, how hey, hey, hey. but now the glory in Akuja Kuja. Then after they have gone, is when we are calling them mighty men. Go and listen to stories of people like uh, uh, E.W. Kenyon. Read their stories, listen to the audiobooks, and listen to how, and then we call them, listen to stories of Oral Roberts. Listen to people. Uh, you know, listen to their stories, you re- and then you call them mighty men. You realize that they were, they were government officials, they were businessmen. They were, but, but one thing that we know about them is that what was above everything else is that they were sold out to God. There were others that were pastors. I'm not, I'm not negating that. But one thing I can tell you is that when God sends you out like a seed, and you know, some seeds fell on. So it means that all of us will not fall in church. Church is a place of us gathering and communing, congregating to, to empower ourselves to do mighty things out there. Are we together? But when we are cast like this, you have to go and land somewhere where there is an unbeliever. You have to land somewhere where people say, in, in, in our faculty, you know, like maybe especially in medicine, when they, are, they, they are so full of, you know, they, they know, you know, you have to prove it by science. When you fall among the accountants, when you fall among the politicians, there is the place of reconciling men to God. Are we together? Are we together? So these guys were given power. Chukwa. As also you are endowed with power. So, this statement in Amanisha Akwamba, they were given power against. The power we have is not for. Don't side with the devil. When we see somebody who is sick, and just the best you can do is to talk about, hey, who are you? Who are you Nikama Naenda? You are siding with the devil. And you are the one who has all this power, and you are the one now discussing about who you are Naenda. That is wrong. It's as if there is no hope, more hope. Hope in Asia. You cannot help them. No, that is not your story in Jesus' name. And the same thing we are transferring to our children. We are telling them as you go to school, that school is safe because you are there. Number two, all the children are well because you are there. Are we together? Now that's the same thing we are transferring. Because all power has been given to us. For the disciples are not given all the power. The Bible says they were called. When he has called his disciples, he gave them power. But when Jesus Christ resurrected, he said all power. All power. 
Is it financial power? Hey, bana sife sana. Is it economic power? Is it, is it, is it what kind of power? All means all. Say, many, make many rich. But look, I say, you say, I make many rich. All power. It's all power. You know, there's what you call, there's what you call, horsepower. Yaku kugurumisha gari na kupatia gari nguvu. Sindio? There's what you call electric power. Sindio? There are these different physical powers. There's a mental power. Bobo nasama all power. Mean that super intelligent. All power. Power over demons, yes. But receive power over power over crisis. Power to be above but never beneath. So it is what you use this power to do. It is all power. It is all power. Mean that I colonize Kenya with what I have in Jesus' name. Panasfesana. God bless you. And it's about all power. This one was specifically against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of disease. Full stop. The following verse. Now, the name of the 12 disciples were, they are listed there. Let's continue. And the other disciples, let's continue. Simon, uh, Simon, the Canaanite, Judah, Tuendelea Pochini. Then, listen to the testimony. These twelve, Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Because this was not the fullness of the ministry. And and unto any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Sasa, following, following verse. But go further, go, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Uh-huh. Delia, verse 7. And as you go, preach saying. How are they to minister the power? By saying. How did God change the world? By saying. Because Hebrews 11 verse 3 says, by faith you understand that the world's errors of time, different errors of life, were repaired, changed, transformed, catatizzled by the rhema of God. So that the things that are seen are made out of things that are not seen. This is how people get healed. They don't have to make a long prayer. Tell somebody you are well in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. Where you suppose cast the devil to say, out in Jesus' name? By what? It's not a mystery. Now, you will be glad that you had this. Because now you are going to do it. People will be saying, I want that anointing. But you see, it's deep-seated in you. You refuse to wait. You do it what I'm, you do it the way I'm telling you. By your word. People say, he cast the devils by his word. Meaning that when you get to a place where you want to take dominion, you use the same thing. I have come here and I've come to take over business here. I've come to take over. You, know, you already, my God, you've already taken over. When the time, remember the time when there was a coup in Kenya? You know the first place they attacked? Yeah? Voice of Kenya. Because they were the voice they would announce. And that announcement was a takeover. It's a voice. He always says, and his fame was voiced abroad. It's here. So as you go preach saying the kingdom of God is at hand, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. For freely have received, freely give. They came back rejoicing. Freely have received. They were given. He received. Say, I received. The crucifix is to Lambano. Making it yours. So, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely have received, freely give. You do it by words. Sasa, the Bible says they came back with testimonies. They came back with testimonies. Another thing, when they, there was time when they were now prepared to, for Christ to ascend. So, you were asked, the time I ascended, did you, did, you, did you lack anything? No. Those words that Jesus gave them, 
also supplied. Nataka tufanye hivi. Put on your best suit for the ministry. Put on your best tie to preach Jesus. Put on, take up the best meal to preach Jesus. Let everything that you do be for the preaching of the gospel. And you never lack. You will never want. You seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything about you, everything becomes new. God bless you. Pastor Gunes, can you manage In Jesus' name. Okay, in Jesus' name. So God bless you as we, as we start this new journey. I feel the anointing. Not I feel the anointing. Okay. I would say I feel the anointing, but it's not in the feeling, but there's something welling in my spirit. We are changing even the order of our services, by the way. Yeah, as we join the new year, we are changing so much, so many things. Family service. Introduce a family service. Kutakona um, leader service. And then one more program. One thing I purpose to do 